Hello, my name is David Webb, and this is a video for DweeboVision. I am a Scrabble Grandmaster, and in this video I am going to play Scrabble while providing in-game commentary on my moves. Hopefully this will help to improve your game, and be fun to watch. The game has just started, so let's join the action. It's my opponent to go first. I have a balance rack. I can't see a bingo, either seven or eight letters, but I do have scoring tiles in the F and the W. So I have wife, wifed, and weft. It would be good to get rid of both the F and the W, as neither is a bingo tile. Great start for my opponent. 78 points for Medicos. Now I can play wifed across here. And this should score quite well. Alternative to this would be just to play few, but I think Dint isn't a great rack league. 38 points. Now, I draw the Z, but only one vowel. I've got Zinc on my rack, so I could play Zincs in column 14 for not very much. I could play Zin in row G, making Zo and Is for quite a good score. What else is there? Well, Zin stays available, which is good. Has my opponent provided anything better? Well, I could play Zins, Dean, and Ides. But that burns the S and doesn't score significantly more than Zin. I could play Zit, but I think the rack leave is better after Zin. So, 45 points. I have Uncolts. which currently plays in row K as a double-double, which is pretty good. I can't see anywhere else for it. So that could end up being blocked, which would be a shame. Zo takes a D and an A in front. I'm just looking around in case there are any combinations of tiles I ought to be considering, possibly MI in column 8. Can't see anything through that. And then you've got the three letter sets in columns 10 and 11. But 10 letter words are very difficult to spot. I am 14 points behind, so despite my opponent's early bingo, I'm still in touch. Great! My opponent has not blocked my uncolts spot. And I draw the blank, which is good. I have Plachette on my rack, and I have an A for going in front of MI. So I could be having back to back bingos here. My H could go underneath the C of Uncolts. Now, Eerie takes an R after it, so column 15 is also a bingo lane. At the moment, I haven't seen any playable bingos. My opponent challenges and loses 5 points, which is great. Now, what bingos do I have? I think I'll look for sevens first. Well, let me put this back because my opponent has provided a number of floaters. So, what I'd like to do is have a bingo. Now, I have elephant. And in fact, there is no point in looking for something better. Because this place is my highest scoring, scoring tile on the... Double letter square. For 98. Wow, and another great pickup. I have sighted. I can't see anywhere for that. Through an E, I would have hedgiest. I can't see anything through the U of uncolts. So I may struggle to bingo with this rack, which would be a shame. I don't think sighted has any anagrams. 
apart from the U of Uncolts, there's really just the I and the N of Ovine as floaters. I now have a 130 point lead. I'm just scanning the board in case there is somewhere for sighted. Great, my opponent has provided some new floaters. Do any of them assist? I don't think the I does. Or the V. And the G doesn't either, so they don't assist. Ah, oh, well, what about playing high down here? And I draw well. I have darkest, starked, and straked. I think I'm in the same position as last time in not having anywhere for them to play. Through an N, I would have dark nets. The N of ovine doesn't work. I don't think darkiest is good, but it's possible that straked is, and I'd be tempted to try that if it remains available. Well, my opponent's blocked that. I haven't got anything through the G, so I think I'm in the same position as before in having an unplayable bingo. 15 minutes on my clock. Well, I think my clock must have been reset higher when my opponent lost contact or quit. Now, the K is my scoring tile. So can I place it on the triple letter square at J2 and get it doubled? I don't think I can. Well, I can. I can play K, but that burns the S. 47 points is a good score. I'm inclined to take that. And I have another good rack. I can't see a bingo with this rack, but there may be one. But I certainly could use the A front hook of MI to play bar in row G, making Ami and Ref. That would sort out the duplicates and leave a decent rack leave. That's exactly where my opponent has gone. Now, what about playing in column 3, parallel to Cades? The, the trouble there is I haven't got anything to go after AD. Barrett is good, and so is Barrett. So I could play either of those in row E, making Amis and Tin. And I think I would like to expedite the end of the game, given that I'm over a hundred points in front. Not a great pickup. W and U always a bad combination. My W can go above the E of Elephant, so I could play New in that spot or NU. That would score quite well. My O can go after Add in row M. So I might have a play parallel to Cades. I've got a 150 point lead, which is quite good. 22 tiles in the bag. My opponent has taken the spot where I was going to play NU. So, what can I do with my W? I'm looking in column 15 to see if I've got anything ending tin. And I can't see anything. wall would sort out both of my problem tiles, but I can't see anywhere to play that. Now I have a lot of vowels, so I don't have to play the, the W, but with 20 tiles still to come, I don't want to have a problem rack for a long time. So. What about playing above Barrett? I can play Whale. This doesn't feel great, and I am opening up a bingo lane. 24 points is okay, the rack leaves awful. It would be nice to play off one more vowel, but I can't see a way of doing that. I draw the X, still got 
a bunch of vowels, but that's not surprising since I kept three of them. I'm looking at the eye of Ovine where my X could play, but I can't get it to play twice. I could play Rue in column 15, making Eria. That would sort the rack out to some extent. Only 18 points. Whale takes a D in front and an S. No Ds left and only one S. I don't have anything which goes in front of ER, the final overlap in Whale and Barrett. Now I could play Go, G-O-E, in column 3, making a Do and Use. 19 points. That would sort the rack out to some extent and retain the X, which is a good scoring tile. What else is available? I'm looking around for other spots where Rue might play. My opponent's got nine minutes left. Right, he plays just the, the single tile, doesn't create any new spots. So shall I keep the X? I think I will. I don't like the rack leave after playing Rue and Go scores about the same. So, 14 points. Whoops, that's not shown up. It has now. Pretty awful pickup. I think I played OE and picked up two O's. But it does mean that Rue is still available in column 15. 13 tiles in the bag. Rue can also play in row O, making Goa. Now with these extra O's, Oxo is available. On my rack, I can't see anywhere to play that. Now, my opponents play Tiny, making Kai. There's one S out there. He may have it, so column one could be available for him. So can I play through the eye of Tiny? Can't see a way of doing that. Well, I could play X in column two, but that's keeping three O's and a U, which isn't good. Nine tiles in the bag. Oh, well. I can play Rue down here for 24 points. Another horrendous pickup. I draw the Q. I've just burnt my U and I have no eyes. I could play Chi in row M in two spots. And there's still a U, a couple of A's and a T in the bag. So it may be that I should concentrate on playing off the J on my next go, on the grounds that I'm not going to be stuck with the Q. The remaining tiles are pretty bingo -y. Nice play by my opponent. 39 points. Two tiles in the bag. Well, since there are two tiles in the bag, I'm tempted to play G to leave one in the bag. So... This will probably be my final rack. I can't see anything which plays in column 1, which ends in an O or an E. I could play my J in row C, playing Jog, Ow and Gabby. Where else does my J play? Well, I could play Jingo in row M through the I of High. That would be 26 points. Seven minutes on my opponent's clock. I'm struggling to see spots for my J. My opponent plays Allah. I think that takes an N in front. It, it certainly takes a G. And what my opponent's done by playing that is opened up row B as a bingo lane because Allah takes a T in front. I can now see the tiles that my opponent has got on his final rack at the bottom of the screen. Unparts. He has Sun Trap, which does play because of Tala and possibly Nala, so I think I do need to block that. But does he also have a bingo in column 5 through the E of Exile? That looks a pretty good set of tiles. I think Persaunt is good. I think there's something else there. Well, I'm struggling with that. So maybe I should just play Jog up here for 18 points. 
I don't think I could have blocked both bingo lanes. So I'm just wondering whether my opponent does have a bingo. He's got six minutes to find it. If he doesn't, I will have another go. So can I go out? Well, I can play Romeo in row E through the R of Rue. I can't see anywhere else to go out in one. Through an H, I would have Ohoni. But the H of first H of High doesn't work. My opponent plays Stupa, which blocks my Aronio out. Has he provided an alternative spot? Well, I don't think so. I don't think soon with an E is good. Now, can my opponent go out in one? He's got RN, so he can play Urn in row C, and he can play Rin in row M. So this is my last play. Now I can play New across here. For 19 points. Can I get more than that? Possibly, but unlikely to be very much. And since the game is won, I think I will play this. Just wait for my opponent to formally end the game. No, he's got to, he's got to uh, play. So he can get six for Urn or six for Rin. He plays Rin. Pass to end the game. And the final score, 369 to my opponent, 501 to me. A winning margin of 132 points, so a massive, massive win. Let's see what I missed. It was my opponent to go first. He played Medicos. And then this was my rack. And I played Wifed for 38, and that looks fine. The alternative I was considering was Few for 29, keeping Dint, but I think the extra points were worth taking. My opponent's rack, he played Eerie. And then my rack, and I played Zin for 45, and I think that's best. My opponent's rack, he plays Mai. Which was great for me because I had uncolts, and that was clearly best. My opponent's rack, he played ovine for 36, and then I had a dream pickup, and elephant for 98 was best, but there were a number of other high scoring bingos. My opponent's rack, he played vigor, I had sighted nowhere to play it. And I could have played Dite through the G of Vigor for 20. Instead, I played High for 22. More points, and I think a better rack leave, so I prefer High. My opponent's rack. He played Vort for 21. Blocking my straked attempt, which I don't know if it was good. In any event, I played Cades for 47, and that was quite a high score. I could have got 54 for Azotized. Wow, that would have been impressive. Coming down column 13, 54 points, but Cades is fine. My opponent's rack, he played bad, and this is where I played Barrett for 25. Wow, I could have got 39 for a Brazo. I didn't consider that, that would have been a pretty good score. My opponent's rack, he plays Neff for 29. Now my rack starts to disintegrate. What did I do here? I played Whale for 24, keeping EOU, which didn't feel great. I think Newell. Ah, making Vigoro is probably a better play, retaining the W for score. My opponent's rack. He plays a bye. Now, F5. XO. Ah, I see, making Ob. And Oxo in the same spot. This is where I played... Goer, or Go rather, at L3 for 19. Yeah, I think that's okay. Probably the Oxo plays slightly better. My opponent's rack, he plays Tiny. Now, did he have the S when he played that? No, he didn't. And this is where I played Rue. 
but OXO still available in row F. Yeah, OXO probably. Well, I don't know if it's better or not because Roo does block the column one bingo lane. My opponent's rack, that looks pretty good. He played Exile, which was a nice score. Now I have the J and the Q. And I chose to play off just the Q to leave one in the bag. My opponent's rack, he's got, well, a bunch of bingos here, but I'm not sure if any of them play. No, they don't. So he played Ala for three. And now I could see that my opponent did have a bingo. So I blocked it. So Joe isn't the, the best play because then Suntrap plays in row B. So I'm happy with my play. But did it block all bingos? Yes, it did. It did. It did. My opponent played Stupor. Did I have an out? No, I didn't, and new looks fine. And finally, ah, my opponent could have got 11 for a dawn across here, which uh, neither of us spotted. So, that's the end of that very high-scoring game. 500 points and quite a few interesting racks to consider. So I hope you enjoyed watching that and got something out of it. My name is David Webb and this has been a video for DweeboVision.